Okay, so first of all, go to View and Macros and record macro. A macro will allow you to record what you are doing in the spreadsheet and then when you run the macro later, it will redo the process for you. Choose a macro name. I'm going to call mine advanced filter. Create a keyboard shortcut for the macro. I'm going to use control shift J because the control is already there. I can just type shift and J on the keyboard to get control shift J store the macro in this workbook and OK. Now the macro is recording. I'll do the advanced filter by going to data and then advanced filter. Choose copy to another location. The list range is the table that you want to filter. So this table here. The criteria range is the criteria that you want to use to filter the table. So that's these three cells here and then the three cells underneath them and copy the results to these three cells here and OK. And now it has filtered this table here for values in this column that are greater than 240. Now that is done, I will stop the macro recording by going to view and macros and stop recording. Now to look at the macro that we just made, we'll use the keyboard shortcut Alt F11. Go to the name of the workbook that you're in and open up modules and then double click on module one. And this is the filter that we made. You can see it's called advanced filter and we assigned it the keyboard shortcut control shift and J. Now these three lines here we don't need because those are the cell ranges that I selected when using the advanced filter but they aren't needed. Then we also don't need this line here because that was me making the column wider so we could see the dates and then this is the cell I selected just after doing that and we also don't need that either. The important part is the bit in the middle here. This is the cell range that we are filtering using advanced filter. We're going to copy the results to another location. The criteria that we use for filtering is the criteria in this cell range here. And then we copy the results to this cell range here. And the unique false is because you can use advanced filter to filter for only unique values, but we haven't done that. Now I've made those changes. I'm going to save this. And in order to save an Excel workbook with a macro, you need to change it so that it's a macro enabled workbook and then save. Then we can close this window here. And now if I change any of the values in here and then run the macro, it will redo the advanced filter for me and change the values here. So if I change this to less than 240 instead and use the keyboard shortcut control shift and J. It runs the macro for me and now we are filtering on values in this column which are less than 240. I can also filter on values in the other column looking for values greater than 280. And if you forget what the keyboard shortcut is, go to view and macros and view macros, then select the name of your macro and run. And now we are filtering on both of these criteria in order to get this table here. And we can also look for a specific value, for example, I can search for one particular date 
and then use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift and J and it finds me that specific date in this table. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to use advanced filter with a macro in Excel. And that is everything.